famous types have been up to all sorts again this week, so shall we take a closer look at what's been breaking and making the headlines in the world of showbiz? Pop star Brian McFadden has revealed that he was recently taken aback when Danny Minogue questioned how he'd got together with his fiancée, Delta Goodrum, who happened to be a good friend of Danny's. He's revealed, when we met, she looked into my eyes and said, I'm trying to see what Delta sees in you. <laughs> <laughs> so, did Danny do the right thing, looking out for a mate? And uh, was she right to be so direct with Brian, do you think? Well, I think we've all got to look after our friends, and I'm very protective of mine. I have got some friends that I know have been in the past or still are in the worst relationship ever, or, um, and I know it's not right. So what, the problem I have is when somebody asks me a direct question, I find it hard to lie. So they'll say to me, oh, don't you just love him? Isn't he brilliant? I sort of just go silent and pull a face. I'll sort of go, yeah, he's <laughs> lovely. I can't go, yeah, he's great. And I, so I think they already know, but I... I possibly think that I would say, you know, are you sure? Uh, if, she, if she gave me the green light and started to bitch about him, I'd be in there straight away and go, absolutely agree, and we really need to talk about this, and I think that this, this isn't good. So, probably wrong thing to do, but I think, well, Danny's only, only protecting a friend, really, I suppose, in a way. No, I don't. I think, she, I think it's really rude, actually, to go up to somebody, you know, face to face and say, um... I can't work out what she sees in you, because that's basically what she's saying, isn't it? And I just think that's... It, it's got nothing to do with her, and it's got nothing to do with anybody else. If someone is a grown-up and they choose to go out with someone or be with someone, why should anybody else question that? I wouldn't dare do that. Well, you know, you know it's all in the delivery. He may have, um, he may have you know, re really re relayed this story a little kind of harshly in black and white. Print. Well, maybe, Blessing. maybe, but she doesn't seem like a really rude person. No, she doesn't. Know. But you know, even if it's a joke, it's still like you know, it still could be quite hurtful. <laughs> I'm trying to work out what she sees in you. <laughs> like, come on, yeah, it's just it's, rude, isn't it? Is but maybe rude. she was joking. Maybe yeah. she didn't mean it so rudely. Well, no, but people have said it before to, to, to you. Mark. <laughs> well, no, not to no. me. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, in a, in a, not in a, maybe not in a, an all serious way, but it's still quite rude and it's still it quite hurtful. Can't see what, you know, can't see what you see in her. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, no. You know, and I think it's a bit oh. rude, oh, actually. He's oh, yeah. yeah. lucky to have you. I'll yeah, he is, he actually. He is very lucky to have you. But I must admit, Linda Bellingham, when I first met Ed, Linda Bellingham and I and Ed went out to, to dinner, and she interviewed him. Like, <laughs> so what are your intentions, young man? <laughs> and I, must, I, was, I was like, oh, my God, Linda, stop. You know, but she, she went through a whole list of things, and he passed with flying colours. But I have to say, I did the same with Mr Spain when she met Mr Spain. I, I sort of interviewed him as well to see if he was good enough for Linda. And th thankfully... Everything's worked out well, right. and they get on really well now. And if they hadn't have been, would you have said anything? Well, I, I, I no, I probably no, wouldn't have done. But it, I'm glad that it did work out, and it, it is nice to sort of be there for your mate, but not be insulted like that. I think oh. you know, it's, it is nice to be mate. That's that's awful what she said to him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Meanwhile, Katy Perry has posted a picture of her fiance Russell Brand on the internet wearing a wedding dress. Oh. Why? Oh. Well, the picture was supposedly taken. Oh. There he is, <laughs> when they went out shopping together for her that's wedding right. dress. Apparently, Russell got bored of Katie's bridezilla way so much so that he decided to slip on a little dress himself. But what do you think, ladies? This is really breaking with tradition. Should Russell have even been there in the first place? No, or should a shouldn't. groom wait until the big day to exactly. see his Exactly. It's bad luck for a man to be seen. You know, what is he doing? Well, one, that'd be a bit of a worry if you fellas yeah. trying on wedding dresses, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be doing a quick getaway, I think, Katie, my old love. Um, no. See, Carol, you had a lucky escape. I know. It's, I it's, did. It's, That's just what I was thinking. I yeah. know, because he wouldn't. Oh, yeah. It could have all been you, I love. Him. Yeah, bad. you did. Been, oh. Not now. Not now, seen that picture. No, I bet you haven't. Uh, I think it's bad luck. I don't think it's right that a man should go and pick the woman's wedding dress. I, just... I don't think so either. I, it may be an old fashioned thing yeah. and quite traditional, but. And I wouldn't see it as being unlucky. I mean, I have actually bought four dresses now oh, for my wedding. Dresses. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're slightly excessive. Carol. No, do you but, not think I it's going to last, Carol? They're not. They're not particularly expensive. You know, they're not. Some people spend thousands of pounds yeah. on a wedding dress. No, mine aren't anywhere near they're that. Not for four different weddings. Couple then. of high street <laughs> for the same. No, but I can't. I haven't decided which which look oh. I want yet. So I'll wait in, until the time, and then I'll decide. But uh, they're in. You know, they're not exactly hidden away. Mm. Mark knows where they are. But he wouldn't look at them. I just know he wouldn't. I just know for a fact that he just wouldn't go and have a look at them. But if he did,
did, I don't think I'd be... I don't think I'd be that bothered. Mm. I certainly wouldn't take him shopping to go and buy no, a dress to no. wear on my wedding day. It's, it's going to be a surprise thing. for him. Yeah, yeah, even if he looks at them, there's four. He won't know which one I'm going to wear. No. Do you know and the thing is, don't you think that you make all that effort? I got married. I hid what I hid my dress for, for months and months and months. And, um, and we got married in Vegas, so I didn't actually have to walk down the aisle. But I was like, well, what's he going to think? He didn't even notice. Didn't even look at my dress. No. <laughs> so you make all that effort. I don't really think they're bothered. So don't take him shopping with you. That was a sign, Zoe, all yeah. that time. Oh, when he didn't notice sign. you on your wedding didn't day, it said a lot. At least he wasn't wearing it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Do you know what's interesting, though? Well. You name one bride who hasn't picked her groom's outfit for the big day. Mm. We get well busy with their outfits, don't we? <laughs> but you do, because you can't trust them not to bodge up the photos in some hideous well, creation. Oh, that's <laughs> they can't be bothered. It's yeah. wedding, 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 isn't it? You know. Yeah. It's a girl thing, isn't it? It is a girl yeah. thing. Girls. It's a lady it's thing. Girls, Russell. Well, girls, we're almost done for this week. But on, uh, the sun is shining. The weekend promises great things. Yay. So let's take a little look back on our weeks. What's been your highlights, ladies? The good, the bad, the ugly? The highlight for me is coming back on Loose Women. I've got oh. a break and I'm back oh, yeah. on my favourite show and I'm glad everybody's here and watching. Yay. My, my Yay. highlight is having Jane back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday night, getting my dancing shoes on, dancing, and you know, I teach a lot of young singers, and I like to find some talent, and I found some talent, and I found another singer uh, in the name of Carol McGiffin um, <laughs> <laughs> that sang along with me on Saturday night. Do you want to show them what you can do? I did, no, come on, no, do. No, 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 no. Oh, come on, Carol. Come on, baby. Well, I need wine. You don't. Okay, don't. ready? Just do what you did. Looking out on the morning rain. Whoa, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? That was it. <laughs> that was it. That was so it. early this week I'm at home and I've got you on in the background and I thought, oh, Carol can really sing. That's brilliant. You know, the X Factor's open to people of all ages. Good news, happy days. Is that all you did? No, 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 no. She, she, <laughs> she's lying because actually at the end I did join in. Let and we both finished and, and with it. you make me feel like a brand new. No, I can't do it. <laughs> Woman. See, you're making me all nervous. Oh. <laughs> and it wasn't karaoke, was it? It was proper singing. Well, it was a karaoke machine, darling, yes. <laughs> Look, I'm telling them all. Me. I'm telling them all. I'm saying the whole number. It was yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it was like in concert with Carol McGiffin. <laughs> Not quite. Not by you. Uh, no, but when I came off the stage, a couple of people just say to me, oh, we didn't know you could sing. And I went, no, no, I don't know. No, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> now, Jane, if you're looking for people to put together in the background for Back the big Palladium the show, it's available. Oh, She's you your go. woman. She's got there four wedding go. dresses. That's right. And she can sing. Fantastic. <laughs> Sign her up. <laughs> Jane, it's good to have you back. Thank Carol, you. I can't wait to hear more from your back catalogue. Banana Rama, you could Don't be the third oh missing God, member! The third member! Oh. That's it. My yeah. vocation. Oh. Well, ladies, that's us for this week. <laughs> have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday when Beatlemania.